Hey everyone, this is Max from Unsubscribed Healthcare. I'm going to go over how to use basics of uh, the Google Forms to make your own intake sheet, right? And so for this, you just click on New in the top left, click on Google Forms. All right, so what's needed in, in intake, right? Well, we need to title it Patient Intake or, you know, just Intake, whatever you want to say. Underneath this is a little descriptor that the people who filling it out will be able to read and see. So you can do please uh, fill out the form to the best of your ability. All right. If we come down here, Google Forms is really intuitive and it will change what kind of question you're using. It has short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, checked boxes, drop down. You can have people upload a file if you really wanted to. Um, you know, so that it allows you to do a lot of different things. So we come here, it will automatically change it. So if I do first name and middle initial, right? You can see that it automatically changed to short answer. So Google tries to make it really intuitive on how to um, make these questions and have you click less, right? So the thing in the bottom right here, require, will make it red. So when a person is filling it out, it has a little red asterisk next to it. And that means that they have to fill it out, right? So things like first name, last name, obviously you want to have those. Um, date of birth is also important. So when I type in date of birth, now you can see that it changes to date. So they have to put in a valid date. We'll also do require for that one. Um, you know, if we do sex you can put in options here right so if you do male click enter it automatically will add female click enter prefer not to say and you can do add an other option um right and so i i didn't really have to type too much there other than the male for the first one and then it automatically filled in the other ones right contact information Right. So if we wanted to, you know, we have the the first section here. If we wanted to make this into a different section for like contact information and stuff like that, we can easily come over here to the right and you can see that it says add section, add video, add image, title and description, right? So there's a lot of different options for you here. We're going to do add section and we'll delete this question there and now we'll do contact information. Right? adding a question using the top right button there phone number right it will change it to short answer we do street address city state okay and now we can do emergency contact Emergency contact. Let's see, contact phone. We'll make this more specific and say first and last name. All right, and so now that's done. We have first name, last name, date of birth, sex, phone number, street address, city, state, emergency contact information. Um, and then we can also add another section when you click on something, you'll see that if I do add section, it's going to add it underneath the one that I had just last clicked. We don't want emergency contact phone down underneath the insurance section, so we just grab the six buttons at the top and drag it up, and it will add it to the section above. So we'll quickly do insurance information, add a question, do insurance company you can list here the uh, insurances that you take you to do a short answer if we wanted to do that we could do blue cross blue shield tufts it's easier to press enter if you don't want to press enter though you could click on here and it will add another option if you click on add option um, or cash so you can see we only limit that 
if you want to have them be able to write in their own insurance, they could write it in there. But if you want to just limit it to the ones that you accept, you could put that there. To clarify that, you can say the insurance is listed below are the only insurances accepted at this clinic just so that they know um, then you come here we'll add another question afterwards and do insurance number if you wanted to also we could add in the ability to upload a file so it will upload to the form owner's drive so they'll be able to submit something um, and you can press continue I personally don't do this but if you wanted to please upload a picture of your license right you could do something like that you could do I know a lot of people want to have um, a lot of people want to have the signature on file and they don't like doing the drawing so please uh, upload a picture of your signature right and then we can also do Please upload a picture of your insurance card. So you can allow two files, five files, uh, ten files, right? Um, you can change what files you're accepting. So if you only want PDF or image, anything like that. Um, again, it allows you to control and be able to see where it goes. So if we click on view folder, So if we click on this, you can see it creates different folders for each one. That goes underneath, right? So this is the untitled form. If we click on that form again, and we click in the top left, it will update and say intake. We come back here, and now it changes it to intake, and it equals the title that we call it. So this is the intake, this is the intake file responses, and it has all of those files made for you. Um, so you're able to sort through those okay you don't have to make it required again if you want people to have to do that you click on this little button down on the right okay so that goes over a basic intake form you could also add in so we'll click on this make sure it's the last one click on the bottom right add new section you know and I Certify that information above or label it digital signature. Obviously, check with a lawyer and other people who, you know, are specialties in law. But the one thing Google Forms doesn't do is it doesn't do IP signatures or uh, IP addresses and tracking that. So some people won't do something like this where you do like by uh, checking the box below. I certify that I am the patient above and the information I have provided is true again I'm not a lawyer but you could do something like this potentially just clarify and make sure that it fits all the requirements um, and that by clicking this box I am the patient listed above 
right? And we do check boxes, multiple choice. All right, something like that. Um, and then you could also do uh, by typing my name, I certify that I am the patient listed above and short answer, right? And then obviously you would want somebody to require this so that they have to acknowledge it and fill in that box, right? So that's digital signature, that's all that stuff. If you want to get really fancy, you can change the theme. You can choose your logo and put it into the header as well. Um, if we, you know, come here, change it red, yellow, green. It's easy to keep it organized. When you choose image, I don't think I am. Yeah, you know, we'll just click on the guitar. Insert. It will change the theme to fit the basic colors there so you can see that it changed it to this tan color all right if you wanted to send this out to people what you would do uh, you can click preview and see it right if we want to send it out to people click on the send um, you can email it to people from here you can copy the link and do that. Or if you want to embed it into somebody's file, uh, into your website, you can. But because it has file upload questions, you are not able to embed it. So if you do want to embed it, you wouldn't be able to upload files. Um, but you can definitely click on shorten URL, and then you can send that link to people. So what does it look like when you fill it out? We'll come here. We'll fill it out real quick. Say I was born yesterday. Mail. Go to the next section. So this is what your patients will see. Contact info. 555, 555, 555, 123 Main Street. We'll do Springfield because I love the Simpsons. I'm out of Massachusetts, so we'll say Mass. Uh, Shayla Shippen is my wife. Five. Okay. All right, we'll say I'm in cash pay. Cash. And again, you can upload all that stuff if you want to upload a file. Uh, by checking blue. Okay, you can see that it's red. So what happens if I try and submit? I have to fill this in. It won't let me submit until it's filled in. All right, so you can see that. We can also change the intake at the end here, the response video, uh, or uh, the response that they see. So we come to settings. In here, you can change a lot of different things. You can collect emails, allow multiple responses, require sign-in. I suggest taking that off so that they don't have to sign in when you send it to them. Come down here to presentation, and you can see confirmation message. If we change that, you can actually use your own calendar appointments. You can check out this other video that I made on how to make your own uh, booking page through Google. But if we copy that booking link, we can come back to that intake form. This link to schedule your own appointment. There you go. We'll click save. All right, and now instead of seeing this message at the end, your response has been recorded. You will see, please follow this link to schedule your own appointment, and they'll be able to click on this link. Um, so that's just a quick overview on how to make your own intake form, how to customize it a little bit, and the different type of questions you can do, as well as uploading certain files. Um, please let me know what you think. Uh, always, as always, feel free to join us on Facebook for more discussion as well. Um, comment below, and I would love to have you subscribe to Unsubscribed Healthcare for more helpful videos. Thanks so much. Have a great day.